So a couple days ago, I ordered this 3.5 inch display for Raspberry Pi from Amazon. In hindsight, this is such an impulse purchase. I always avoided these screens, especially this size, but I decided to add this one to one of my Pies. That way I have access to some basic functions on the screen without having to always look for a keyboard and mouse or try to SSH into it. This was about $29. I'm not going to trash it so much. You get what you pay for, I guess. My first issue was with the instructions booklet. There are parts on the instructions that are ambiguous or it just appears that they were made for another model. So I just did what I thought made sense. Not an issue, but you will have to remove the SD card from the Pi before trying to lay the board inside the case or lay it to rest. <laughs> I'll explain why later. The manufacturer had some sort of film here, so make sure you remove it before trying to install the fan. Now about the fan, it is very, very weak and it is hard to tell if it's even blowing any air, even on 5 volts. As I'm mounting the fan on the back of the screen, I started thinking about how close the fan is to the screen. This is poorly planned. Even if there was a decent gap for good air circulation, this fan will basically blow the heat from the screen onto the heat sinks. The fan will barely be able to cool itself off. Just so you know, the screen does not work right out of the box. Once you have the screen installed, you will need to connect the Pi to an external monitor or you can SSH into it and do these updates that I'm showing in this video. Once the updates are complete, a reboot will be required. Again, I don't want to trash it so much. I'm sure someone can see the beauty in it. Most of my Raspberry Pis are on 24-7 serving some purpose. This option is just not for me. I let this thing run overnight, it was steaming, and I just know it's not going to make it. That's all I have for you today. I'm currently working on some more videos of, on the Raspberry Pi, maybe a couple more before I move on to some other fun projects. I also have some upcoming free Raspberry Pi 4 giveaways that I will be announcing soon, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed yet, subscribe and like. Thanks again.